Hey guys, thank you so much for watching another episode of Cat's Science Show. Well, today my background's a little bit different. I'm off from school this week because of spring break, but I did take our little caterpillar chrysalid friends home so that I could keep a good close eye on them and make sure that they were doing okay. And I also wanted to share with you the progress that's been made for their life cycle. And so what I'm gonna show you next are some clips of the various stages that they underwent. And so first I will show you a video of the caterpillars changing into a chrysalis right at that beginning phase. And then I have them after they had been in the chrysalid for a few days and they had time to harden, I moved them into their new habitat. And then finally, today, I noticed that one of the chrysalids had opened up and a beautiful butterfly has come out and he's still working on, on getting his wings fully developed, but I wanted to show you the progress that they had made. So I will see you back here in just a minute. Okay, so here's a little update about our caterpillars, our cup of caterpillars. Um, they are crawling to the top of the container and they are ready to undergo a change. So what they'll do is they just kind of hang upside down for a little bit, but there's a lot going on inside their bodies that we don't see. So it happens just in a matter of seconds. Eventually what happens is these caterpillars that are hanging upside down they turn to a chrysalis and so we have one in here that has changed and I actually got the change caught on camera and so I'll upload that next just as a, a fast motion video so you can see the actual moment that it happened which it's actually more like a matter of seconds um, if it happened before your eyes you cannot see it but um, one of these little guys is still thinking about it. He's, he must be the youngest in the group here and he's still thinking, hmm, am I ready to change to a chrysalis or not? So I'd be interested to know whenever he changes. I'm assuming that by the morning, because it's, it's about 4.30 p.m., but I'm assuming when I come here in the morning that I will have six chrysalids hanging from the top of the container. I'm doing now is I'm just I have them in a place off to the side where it's mostly quiet and there's not a lot of movement so that while they, they are in this delicate phase their chrysalids can harden and within a couple of days I am going to then move them into their butterfly pavilion so they can continue to undergo their change and complete the metamorphosis life cycle to next become beautiful butterflies and continue on the life cycle. So um, this is what they look like right now. They're just hanging out at the top, growing and changing on the inside. So it looks like one of our little caterpillar buddy friends has emerged from its chrysalis. So that's really exciting. Um, he just did this today. I'm not sure exactly when, uh, um, how long ago that was, but it was at some point today. And it looks like it wasn't that long ago because his wings are still not um, dried out all the way. What happens is when the butterfly hatches, 
it starts to slowly pump fluid into its wings so they can spread out and it be, can begin to fly. So um, really excited about this. Hopefully the other little friends will come out today or tomorrow at some point and we can see what they all look like. Hey guys, well thank you so much for watching that update on our caterpillars. I really hope that you enjoy seeing that progress that they've made as much as I do. And I will keep you updated. The next step in the caterpillar uh, life cycle, they're, they'll all be butterflies. Hopefully they're all looking good. So the ones that have not come out of their chrysalis are looking great and healthy. But the next step would be to release them into the wild. So that's very exciting. And I will keep you updated and hope to see you soon. Bye. So I'm super excited to share with you that five of the six caterpillars have made it to the